Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I've got the bee in the garage because the speedometer stopped working. There's a few things that can cause your speedometer to stop working. Uh, number one would be that the speedometer itself is broken. That's possible, but it's usually pretty rare. Um, number two is the speedometer cable is broken which is probably the most common. Number three, um, this car and a lot of others have an angle drive, which sometimes changes the gear ratio um, coming out of the transmission for the speed of the, uh, of the cable. Um, and sometimes it's just to, for packaging purposes. Um, those can break. Uh, and then finally, the speedometer drive gear in the transmission can break. Um, that being said, this all is talking about a cable-driven speedometer, not a modern car that has a, um, an electronic speedometer. So like the Volvo 240 I've got and the S10, those are both um, electronic. The, uh, the Blazer, the B, and the 68, those are, um, those are mechanical. So first thing we're going to do is... Um, well, we're going to unplug the, uh, the speedometer cable from the speedometer itself and check to see if that's damaged. And then we can also check to see if the gauge itself is damaged. Okay, so that kind of gray looking bit is the speedometer cable. Um, then after it, kind of up top, is the angle drive. Um, there's a second angle drive in this car. One at the gearbox, one at the uh, at the instrument itself. Um, that there is uh, just something that's on the early '70s ones. The all the other ones just poke in from the firewall, but this one goes through the tunnel. Um, but yeah, so what we gotta do is unthread that little knurled nut, uh, pull the cable out, and then we can both a check to see if the cable turns when the wheels turn. Uh, and then B, uh, see if I can turn that angle drive and uh, make the speedometer move. So I'm going to stick my fingers up there and you won't be able to see anything, but uh, you'll know what I'm doing. Okay, so I got the cable disconnected um, and I've already started doing a little bit of diagnostics. Um, this guy, I can tell um, I cannot spin this, which is a good sign. Uh, that does tell me that the cable itself is not broken. So if I couldn't spin this, then... Uh, or if I could spin this, then the cable would probably be broken. So the fact that I can't means that the cable is intact, um, and it moves pretty freely. I can pull it out, and then I can spin it. And if I stick it back in, um, then I can't. So either... The gauge is, is bad, or the angle drive in the gearbox is locked up. Um, I can't tell that until I lift the rear wheels off the ground and try to spin it. Um, but I did do another piece of diagnostic, which is I have a spare cable. The end of which is right here. I have this installed into the back side of that gauge and I cannot turn this and I know for a fact that I can turn this cable um, when it's not installed so I'm thinking the problem lies with that gauge uh, it may also just be that add-on angle drive that goes into this gauge uh, but it could also be that this gauge is bad so I'm gonna go pull that and get back to you. All right, so we're on the bench, got the uh, speedometer. And uh, the one thing to note, so I've got my spare, so I've got my spare cable. If I stick that in, you'll see it does work. So that's all working fine. But this is very sticky. So trying to turn that, it's, it's fighting me. So this is about as fast as I can turn that. 
So the good news is that the speedometer is probably in good shape. Um, but what's probably happened is this angle drive is probably gummy. So I'm going to take this guy off. Now I'm going to plug this into the back. And I bet this will probably move a lot better. Yeah, much better. So... I am actually now very suspicious of the angle drive on the gearbox um, because what probably happened is this guy got gummed up. I was going at a high rate of speed because um, this broke when I was going at least 70, uh, maybe 80. Um, this guy was offering a little too much resistance and the angle drive on the gearbox just couldn't handle that and it sh it probably in it probably broke uh, there's basically just a little piece of speedometer cable that lives in there and they have a tendency to fray and break um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking has happened so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna clean this out um, probably just put really I'm just gonna put a little bit of WD in here and work it real good um, I would say clean it with some carb cleaner, but there's plastic in there, and plastic doesn't really respond well to, well, some plastics don't respond well to that, so I'd rather not kill this angle drive. But we'll clean this out, lube it up, uh, reinstall the speedometer, and uh, investigate that angle drive. That is the angle drive on the gearbox. So I'm going to really just hook this together. And then connect this end to a drill. You can see that piece turning. So, done that, let's see if this is any better, oh, pff. dummy, I need to have it connected, ah, so much better. So now, um, I'm going to check the angle drive, or I'm going to check to see that the speedometer cable turns. So I'm going to lift up one side, one wheel, and we're just going to turn that wheel and see if the uh, cable in the car turns. All right, we've got it jacked up. I'm turning the wheel. That means the drive shaft is turning. And I put a piece of tape on the uh, speedometer cable. And as you can see, it is not moving. So that tells me it's definitely the drive at the transmission. So either the cable is broken and I'm not seeing it or the angle drive on the gearbox is bad. So we're going to have to go on the bottom, go uh, underneath and take a look at that. Okay, I forgot just how gross it is down here, but this right here is the angle drive. So I'm just going to clean that off a little bit and unthread it and then we can investigate. Just got her off and uh, just as I suspected right there is part of the angle drive. So that is a little piece of um, like speedometer cable. It's supposed to be attached into there kind of like this, and uh, it broke off. So uh, really all I gotta do is swap that angle drive. Um, kinda wish I did that, well, 
Say I wish I did that without pulling the gauge, but I did have to pull the gauge to clean it out or clean out that angle drive. Um, so, yeah, it's all worth doing. So I'm going to swap this guy out for a different angle drive and get it all back together. Oh, and uh, here's what an angle drive should look like when it's not covered in goo. Uh, and then this is the piece that plugs into the transmission. Um, I just cleaned this out and it is spinning nice and smoothly. So uh, let's go stick this in and then uh, we'll see if that cable still turns. And to prove that it does turn, turning the wheel now, and you can see that little piece of masking tape spinning. So now I've got to reinstall that speedometer and uh, she should be good to go. And let's see. Hey, it's working. be it for today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is a lot harder with one hand. Yeah, well, let me get that off.